I love football. I love drinking beer. And what I'm going and what we're essentially going to do is yeah. go to a game, yeah. have a few beers, yeah. watch a bit of football, and have some fun. That's the plan. <laughs> J League Journeys. J League Journeys. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. Uh, here at J League Journeys, we're going to be going to football games all over Japan. Like basically, the goal of this series is to yes. figure out which is the best match day in Japan. That could go all the way from J1 to J3. So it could be the team who won the league last year, it could be the team who's top of the league now, or it could be the team who's yeah. bottom of J3. Yeah. And in order to understand that, we're going to look at location. How easy is the stadium to get to? We're going yeah. to look at the price. How much is a ticket? Yeah. How much is the food? How good is the food? Yeah. How good is the atmosphere? Are the fans fun to hang out with? If we sit in the fan zone, mm. are they cool? Are they singing songs? Are they like getting on the fan? <laughs> yeah. Or are they just boring and awful yeah, to be That's around? what's exciting for me is that like, you know, the Manchester United of Japan may not necessarily offer the same match day experience as um, the bottom of J3. Wigan. You know? The Wigan. I don't even know who the Wigan of Japan yeah. is. But we're going to figure it out. That's our point uh, of the series. If the bottom of J3 have more passion than the top of J1, Winner. we want to see that. We want to yeah, experience yeah. that and we want to share that with you guys. We live in Tokyo. Okay. So probably the first maybe 10 games we're going to go to are going to be yeah. around the Tokyo area. So that could be. That could be FC Tokyo, that could be Tokyo Verdi, it could be Yokohama F Marinos, mm. it could be a team in Chiba, Saitama, yeah. Ibaraki. We're gonna figure it out. Yeah. Like, if this all goes well, if you guys like this, we'll end up seeing a game in Hokkaido, the very northern part of Japan where all the snow is. Like super rural. Mm. It's gonna be fun. Or we might go to Okinawa. Like, please watch it because I really wanna go there. It's a tropical paradise. <laughs> um, it's gonna be super fun. Yeah. But we'll see. And just just um, out of interest, yeah. Lolo, who's your team? Who do you support? Oh, your see, team? I knew that question was coming. My team is Jeff United. United. Jeff United, what yeah. a team. Great yeah. kits. Great kits. And what a team name as well. Yeah, they, they had a bit of a fall. They've, they're in the, the midst of a fall from grace. You know, they used to be one of the best teams in Japan. Now now they're, they're, they're mid-league, mid-table, J2. J2. J2, um, J2. If we could follow them, you know, as somewhat of a base team, you know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. If we were to ever, <laughs> for me, <laughs> if I was to ever see them go to J1, that would be... That would be huge, yeah. yeah. That would be huge. Me, I've got to say, this Kobe. This is my team. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's so much fun watching Iniesta. Yeah, they've they've got a really good relationship with Barcelona. Right, right, right. So they've currently got Vermaelen. They've got Semper, yeah, yeah. Iniesta. Yeah. They used to have Podolski as well. Obviously, didn't come from Barcelona, but yeah, they've got a good connection of uh, good international mm. players. And obviously, it's a it's a guy gym. Yeah. Got you to represent. Yeah, exactly. So. Can we get can we get Iniesta to say JD? JD, I don't. <laughs> if that if that happens, mate. Yeah. If that happens. Yeah. Um, tattoo. I'll get a tattoo, Jenny. Yeah. 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 We'd have to. Really. You choose where. You choose. So anyway, if you want to check out the channel, you want to see all these um, stadiums and games in Japan. Hit that subscribe button. Do it. JD Journeys. JD Journeys.